turns in addiction as you're waiting for that moment to be triggered. It was so easy to say bear. Bear. Yeah. Bear, bear, bear. Exactly. <laughs> and you may stop now. But this is how our mind reacts. You guys literally played the mind of someone in trauma. The instant you hear bear, it's just shouted right there. It's waiting to rear its ugly head at you. It's waiting right there, that hypervigilance of like, when is the next shoe gonna drop? And then sometimes we get sucked in to that hypervigilance and we're just ready to go at any time. Uh, recent thing that uh, happened to me was on TikTok where I experienced this and had I not been me, it might have devolved into something completely different where I mentioned terms that are more friendly to the LGBTQ community of how I would describe myself, cis hetero. And it triggered someone. And that trigger snowballed into something I never expected because I was just taking a poll for something completely different, doing research online, just putting it out there for the wide market. So when my mutual got triggered about that term, he did a video because I started asking questions to pull him out of the trauma state. And this is step two. So first step is recognize. Step two is reorient yourself. Start getting curious about it. Start asking questions. This is something that got me through 19 years of living in a haunted house. <laughs> Literally getting curious and scientific and analytical of like, well, you know, is this the effect of neutrinos, which is a ghost particle in physics. Please I welcome Miss Brittany Pearl. 